China has been pumping millions or even billions of yuan into large mega project investment. It only shows that China will never stop building great things for its betterment and development. So with that being said, in today's video, you better join us because we are going to bring you China's latest super mega projects that even foreigners were amazed to see. You better take a look at this. The Beijing Workers' Stadium currently under renovation completed the installation of its massive steel structure. The revamped stadium right in the heart of Beijing is expected to be finished by the end of 2022. With China set to host next year's AFC Asian Cup, the stadium is scheduled to stage both the tournament's opening game and the final. Here is a new power generation unit of the Baiyitan Hydro Power Station, the world's second largest in terms of total installed capacity. Began commercial operation after a successful 72-hour operation test. The newly operating power generation unit 12 is the 13th hydro generating unit with a capacity of 1 million kilowatts installed and running in Baiyitan which will be equipped with 16 hydro generating units. The 13 operating power generation units have generated more than 46 billion kilowatt hour of energy thus far. China's first A-shaped steel tower recently completed its vertical rotation in China's Shandong province. The Haiko Road Crossing Wind River Bridge, located in Qingdao, is China's first super-large A-shaped steel tower vertical rotary bridge. The tower weighs more than 2,300 tons, making it the heaviest in China. The construction of China's second homegrown large cruise ship started in Shanghai when a steel cutting ceremony was held on the same day. The latest cruise ship will be larger in size and capacity compared with China's first domestically built large cruise ship, which is also being assembled in Shanghai and is expected to be delivered in 2023. The new 341 meters long and 37.2 meters wide cruise ship has 2,144 rooms for passengers, 19 more than the first vessel. It's possible that you've already traveled on a yacht or ship before, but have you ever taken a high-speed train on the sea? With that said, let's take a closer look at China's first sea-crossing high-speed railway under construction in Fujian. With over 40,000 kilometers HSR and more than two-thirds of the world's total installations, China has become the indisputable leader for the high-speed trains.
The largest station on the Harbin Yuchen high speed rail line construction started in Yuchen's Wuchi district. With a floor area of nearly 20,000 square meters, the station is designed to accommodate up to 1,500 passengers waiting at the same time, according to China Railway Harbin Group. The track for the final section of Stage 2 of the United Arab Emirates National Railway Network mainline between Sharjah and Ras Al Khaimah was completed. Stage 2 was constructed jointly by China Railway Construction Corporation and local United Arab Emirates Enterprises and will connect the five Emirates of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Pujaira, and Ras Al Khaimah. Each of the project's three sections has a line interval length of 424 kilometers and a total track length of 650 kilometers. A highway overpass that spans over busy railway lines was formed after six bridge sections were successfully rotated into position. The last rotating section a 13,000-ton box girder of the flyover bridge was made to turn 60 degrees clockwise and swiveled into its designated position 90 minutes later to form a complete overpass in Wuhan City, central China's Hebei province. Okay, you already reached the end of the video. Have you found this wonderful? If yes, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.